Peter McKay as he is now in. The former cabinet minister officially launching his bid for the conservative leadership this morning. Hannah Thibodeau is in Ottawa with the details. This is really the first big campaign launch in this conservative leadership race. Uh, Peter McKay went back to his roots. He's from Nova Scotia and even at the beginning before he stepped on stage, you could see and kind of feel a little bit of the East Coast kitchen party there. And he mentioned that because there was a little bit of Stomp and Tom, who's from New Brunswick and the good old hockey game playing in the background. So he made it a bit folksy uh, and brought his family with his wife Nazneen, his three kids, back to his roots where he started 23 years ago as an MP, 1997 until 2015. So as I mentioned, he was born, raised and began serving as an MP there. Now McKay really wants to finally lead the party he helped create with Stephen Harper in 2003. In 2003, he was the leader of the Progressive Conservatives. Stephen Harper was the leader of the Canadian Alliance and they merged the two parties to create the current Conservative Party of Canada and he finally wants to lead that party. Now there was no real official policy announcements in this speech. However, he did mention quite a few things that, you know, we're going to see and start asking questions about. He mentioned things like environmental protections. He spoke of uh, the military because of course he's a former Minister of National Defence. But one of the really interesting things that he saved right for the end is he says he doesn't want to see a party divided. And this is something we saw under the leadership of Andrew Scheer in the last election campaign when it came to social issues. And in particular, Peter McKay brought up same-sex marriage. He says he doesn't want to see that debate anymore, essentially. He says, love who you want to love. But not only that, he took aim at the current Liberal government. Take a listen. I see a federal government shrugging and often doing more harm than good. Virtue signaling without action, drama and rhetoric when all we desperately need are dramatic results. So this race has actually gotten a lot smaller over the past week, Michael. We saw Jean Charest say he's not running. Rana Ambrose saying she's not running. And the shocking one, Pierre Polyev announcing that he wasn't going to enter the race as well. So the uh, pool is getting a lot smaller. Uh, a lot of people say this could potentially be a coronation for Peter McKay, but watch out for Aaron O'Toole as well. This could leave an opening for him with all those others jumping out. And he's expected to announce, and he put out a little twi uh, teaser today saying that he's going to announce on Monday. But also there's uh, MP Marilyn Gladue who had her name in, but a lot of people are saying this is really a race that is between potentially Peter McKay and Aaron O'Toole. However, likely a coronation of Peter McKay unless we see some surprise announcement from someone else out there. Anna Thibodeau reporting in Ottawa.